you know? Rolling, what time is it? What time is it? Are we on the dot? 12.04, I think it's pretty good. Uh, listen up, everybody. All right, this is a bit different. You can tell it's different. Uh, it's a regular morning here. And I'm gonna be honest, it's like the studio is kind of in shambles recently. The truth is we're moving to a new space. Well, not this. This, in case you haven't seen it, is the Lou Later set. There's been a big change around here. Yeah, what's that? Yeah, it's a it's a different it's a different vibe in here today. Did you know that? Yeah, I feel it. You feel it as well. Yeah, well, I hear it. Oh, you hear it as well, <laughs> don't you? Yeah. This is Willie Do's masterpiece. This is where he's most comfortable. As you can tell, he's got a recline going on. He's got a sandwich, a Rubik's cube. Wow, this looks really set up. Were you? I think he was ready for this. No, no. What's changing is the Unbox Therapy set. It's moving to another place. It's really exciting, I promise you it's worth it, but in the meantime, you've noticed on the channel, it's kinda, I mean, it's been a bit strange, to be honest. But we can't shut the thing down while we're in the transition phase. You can probably tell that the, the products don't stop arriving. Look at that, I mean, where was at the mailbox today? It's still unbox therapy, let's put it that way. It's still unbox therapy. So, what we've done here, we handed Jack a camera. We're going behind the scenes. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna keep it moving and we're still gonna pick products that, that uh, I think are cool or Will thinks are cool and we're still gonna unbox them, but we're just gonna do it, we're gonna do it as it goes, as it comes and as it goes. We're gonna do it spontaneous. We're gonna do it, just do it. So Will, what do we have over here that's exciting? Oh wait, maybe there's something already upstairs. Maybe we should open these boxes because they just came in. We don't know what it is. This is light. That can't be good. It's light. Will does a lot of the research on products. And so he's responsible for a lot of the stuff that comes in. And he can also be held accountable for things that show up here. So if you, do, if you like something, you can give Will due credit. If you don't like something that shows up here that's in a video, you can also blame Will Do. And this one right here is labeled Will Do, International Priority, okay? <laughs> Gold bond medicated since 1908. So Will's got an itch. Triple action, cooling, absorbing. I feel like I have to describe myself. Well, you don't have to explain yourself, okay? That was a great start. That was an incredible start. Look at the background backdrop there. That's Will do after he applies the gold bond. <laughs> That's right. I'm ready. Ready for anything. Vox. Oh, I remember this. New and improved blocks box. Check this out, Jack. This is very strange. So that lady there is using it as intended. You hold this over your mouth. Simply insert one air pod. Hold the blocks box over your mouth and speak normally. So, this is very strange. Oh. Is it muffin? Will do loves gold bond medicated powder. So, see, you heard what I said. Yes, I did. You heard what I said. I'm, who's gonna? Who's gonna? Who's gonna? The old version was very aggressive. Oh! and intimidating in my opinion, so. Oh, look at that, that's Lego. That's supposed, oh, a piece fell out. Uh, wow, one piece is out and it's not, a oh, maybe it's here. Maybe at a distance you can tell it's supposed to be me. Lego's cool. Uh, okay, I think, I think I have something upstairs that's cool to look at. Let's go upstairs, follow me there. This product was from a previous video. This was a keyboard that I was showcasing. It's called Collude. The model is KDK1. And you can tell from the image, the idea is to put a hub for all your peripherals inside of a slim keyboard. HDMI, micro SD, SD, four traditional USB ports, 
two type C connectors. I thought that was pretty cool. We got these tiny little phones and Will was telling me to check these out for a while. Some sort of a product line of tiny little phones. There must be some sort of a market for these because <laughs> just, just look at me, they exist. And it's not the first time I've seen them, but it's the first time I've seen so many variants. You have the M10, which as you can tell, looks like a mini Nokia. You have the M60. I believe this is a mini, super mini small flip phone. You have the M70, which again, I'm sure that's probably based on some famous brick style phone from who knows when. M30 and M90, the best and the smallest backup phone in the world. So you're calling it a backup phone. I seen these things, I saw a story, I think talked about on Lou later where people smug, smuggled them into prison inside of the sole of a shoe. Now I'm not suggesting that you do that, but I'm just saying like that's 350 milliamp hours, 68 by 28 by 12 millimeters. The screen is 0.66 inches. Look at that. That is tiny. It charges over micro USB. I mean, you can actually get in there and click them. Removable battery, just like the old days. And you have to remove this yellow film. This is so weird. It has a dual SIM capability or even possibly an SD card slot, a micro SD card slot. I don't know what that's typically used for. Are people trying to store songs or this doesn't even have a camera on it. Once upon a time, it made a lot of sense, but still to this day, it's, it's being maintained on some of these inexpensive devices. Well, what is the cost? The Late Star. Is that the name? They're late to the game, but they're not out. I have the BM10. I'm gonna guess, wait, I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna say 29 bucks. Oh, I nailed it, okay. I, I promise you that was a guess. I didn't look this up. It just feels like a $29, it just feels like a $29 thing. That's very covert, nondescript. So flip to it. I mean, this obviously feels insane, but this on the other hand, even though the package is similar in, in size, it still feels insane. This one full out, you just go straight to the ear with it. Bluetooth headset style, because why wouldn't you? You see, there was a time, there was an era of the Bluetooth headset. The guy on the Bluetooth headset in the suit or something? I'll take 10. I need you to move the shares around. We need to hedge that. Oh my God, that's just an even smaller version of this one. Get the M30 for yourself and call it a day. Welcome. Couple tunes. Oh, phone book, messaging, call center. Multimedia, really. What's multi about this media? They always put voice changes in these things as well. Yeah, magic voice. How did I know? All right, let's check the ringtones. That's a loop. It's better than my ringtone right now. Let's go show Will. Definitely does sound like a Zelda tune. Mythical, some would say. <laughs>